striking about your book is you very deliberately said, I am going to look at the effect of children on parents. That's a relatively new lens, isn't it? I think you can trace a lot of this to right after World War II. Um, that is when the sheltered, long childhood began that was education-focused, where kids became the center of attention. Um, until Right through the progressive era, obviously this was changing in the progressive era, but kids worked. They worked for you. Or they, worked, they worked on behalf of the family. By, I would say, the 70s, it became very, very clear that like the parent's job had become to prepare their child for an economically uncertain future. And it just kept getting more and more difficult to figure out what that preparation involved. And what we are all doing now as parents, we have two jobs. Number one is to predict is to you know prepare our kids for a future that we cannot fathom. Our kids aren't gonna have a job with a name that we know. They're not gonna have a job description we can identify. Um, and uh, and we assume that it's gonna be a more economically bleak future, right? So we are trying to do that without any clue what portion of our knowledge is useful to them. So we send them to chess and we teach them Mandarin and we put them in team sports and we you know teach them to code and we do everything short of like teaching them how to like defuse a bomb because we don't know. You know, we do not know. And the other thing that happened once kids became regarded as very precious, we decided we were responsible for their self-esteem. And that is a preposterous thing to ask of a parent. You cannot ask a parent to make a child happy. It's not fair to the kid. It's not, fair, it's not fair to the parents. You know, I mean, it, it can, happiness can be a byproduct. But to, to sit there and to say that you are, I mean, it's not like teaching a kid how to plow a field or how to do math. It's different. <coughs> That's why it's a mess. Marriage. What is the effect of having children on marriage? Is there any good news? Is there a <laughs> single study that says it makes it better? <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Reading this and hearing all this, you can't help but wonder, so why does anyone have children? <laughs> Meaning, joy, connection, transcendent experience, the closest thing you can have to awe other than religion, uh, having a purpose, a reason to wake up every morning. This is what the happiness studies are very bad at doing. Whenever you look at a happiness study, uh, the way that they almost always structure them is that you rate on a scale of one to five how an experience was. And it's not unlike looking at Amazon. Like, Fifty Shades of Grey gets like a million fives. And so does Anna Karenina. Like, and they're not the same. And reading them is not the same, and how you feel about literature afterwards is not the same, and the way that the, like you think about the world afterwards is not the same. But they are both given a five on Amazon. And um, in happiness studies, if you have like an amazing night with your friends, you rate it a five. And if your kid says to you the way he said to me, like the, not that long ago, I was so glad when I was born and I saw that you were my mother. Like, <laughs> That's the greatest thing. I'll go, I can, you know, I, is there another option? Like, there's not, you know, it doesn't go to 11, like in Spinal Tap. You can't, like, keep crank, you can't crank it, you know, but, like, this is what, and so, I mean, why do you have kids? You have kids for that. You look at what the stresses are at birth, what the stresses are in toddlerhood, what the stresses are as kids get older, and I think that's where the title is brilliant. So, the all joy and no fun. We're all very aware of the no-fun. I mean, when you're in a no-fun moment, you know you're in a no-fun moment. <laughs> but the idea that this is just one part and the overarch has a purpose. And the purpose, I think, is what you describe as the joy, the trajectory, the fact that you are headed somewhere. And that can keep you sane on a pretty bad day. <laughs>